We're gonna be manual muscle testing palmaris longus. So what I'm gonna have you to do is repeat our action a couple times. You're gonna bring your fingers to a point and then add in wrist flexion, okay? So you can do that one more time for me, fingers to the point and then wrist flexion. Great, so that is our active range of motion for this muscle. Now for the brake test, it's gonna be really, really hard for me to try to pull apart all the fascia of the palm. So really we're just gonna be testing its function at the wrist. So I'm gonna have you bring your fingers to a point and bring this part way into wrist flexion. I'm gonna put one hand underneath your forearm just to stabilize it. My other hand is really just gonna be gently resting across the fingers as I pull her wrist into extension for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, this last part, the concentric, it's gonna seem a little bit funny, so we're just gonna kind of do the best we can. What you're gonna do is bring all of your fingers to a point, but I'm gonna have my hand resting on them, giving you some gentle resistance. So if you open it back up, I'm gonna have you bring all your fingers to a point, good, and now add that wrist flexion all the way to the end. Great, and so we're gonna call that the concentric component for palmaris longus. To lengthen palmaris longus, we're trying to open up that palm of the hand again. So we're gonna do this in one of two ways. It does cross the elbow joint. Um, so in reality, the best thing that we should start off with is again, holding our elbow into extension. One way to open up the palm is going to be to interlock fingers with your person. So I'm gonna have you spread your hand. I'm gonna slide my fingers in between. And as I bring her wrist into extension, I'm gonna to try to open up the whole palm of the hand like so. Another method taking out the elbow, which actually works better for the palm, is to use both of your hands. So I'm gonna slide two fingers in here. Do this nice and slow. And again, I'm gonna slide two fingers in the opposite side. In this process, I can then open up the whole palm of the hand and add some extension into your wrist. Therefore, really lengthening the main component of palmaris longus, like so. You can easily see all of the spreading of the palmar fascia and that aponeurosis when we do that.